I think Jamie left before me. I was waiting for Mum. I took coffee and sandwiches up to Mr. Bannerman just before 11. We talked for about 10 minutes. Then I came downstairs to cash up in the restaurant. Jamie came in to say goodnight about quarter past 11. Then I drove Bella home. Did Jamie mention where he was going that night? No. He, he asked me if I wanted to go into Corston. I said I was going out. But you didn't go out, did you? I changed my mind. I was tired, so I went home with Mum. You went out with Jamie for a bit, didn't you? He only went out a couple of times. He was very nice, Jamie, but he was a bit, you know, young for his age. Did you ever go up to the old cottage in Hunter's Wood with Jamie? No, I did not. We do have to ask these questions, I'm afraid. Did Jamie have any enemies that you know of, anyone in the village? didn't get on with. Jamie got on with everyone. Except his dad. His dad hated him working here. Why? Michael Bannerman is a very popular man in the village, Inspector. Now that Stephen Bannerman has taken over the maid, well, Michael Bannerman's a hard act to follow. Bannerman, do you mind if I ask you a couple of questions about Jamie Crookshank, sir? OK. Make it snappy. We open in quarter of an hour. Business as usual, eh? That's right. I'm sorry about Jamie. He was a good kid. But life must go on. Yeah. What time did Jamie leave the pub last night, sir? He came in and said goodnight about 11.15. Uh, what do you think he was doing? Up in Hunter's Wood, then. Fooling around, I expect. And what did you do after the pub closed last night, Mr. Bannerman? Me? Sat down here, did some paperwork. On your own? Yeah. For how long? About an hour, hour and a half. VAT. Bloody nightmare. Then what did you do? Went home. What do you think? Got in about half one. Do you shoot, sir? Yeah, I do. When did you last use your gun? I used it this morning. Got a rabbit for the pot. Uh, thank you. Uh, oh, sir. Uh... Just one thing. What can you tell us about the relationship between Jamie and uh, Bella Mundy? A relationship, was it? Oh, well, we heard she dumped him. He was a bit miffed. If Jamie was going out with Bella, it was in his dreams. He was pestering her, that's all. Told him to pack it in. He was interfering with their work. So, what do you make of that? Typical country boozer, sir. It's full of yokels and nutters. Thank you, Scott. That's very useful. Yeah. And as for the maid, the bloke comes back from the war, his fiance's still a bit of a looker, so he jumps in a pond. And then she jumps in afterwards. I mean, you've got to be kidding me. What of advice about your interviewing technique, Scott? Uh, sir? Drooling, Sergeant. When taking statements from attractive female witnesses, it is not in the manual. Drooling, sir? Drooling, sir. What's ruling? <laughs> 